<laughs> You're back in the shop with me tonight, guys. And tonight on the channel, I need to come up with a creative solution to all the shop towels and shop rags collecting in my shop. So stick around. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and let's build something. Ta-da! Lurking in the shadows, there are shop rags. They are not any kind of rag. They are not a face towel. They are not a dish towel. They are not a bath towel. They are shop rags. I am here, Stoner Erickson. The shop towels return. <laughs> so back in the, back in the day, I uh, when me and my wife moved into this house, she had a drawer full of towels, and I would go grab them and I would use them in my shop. And she would get so mad, and I didn't know the difference between a dish towel or a face towel and a shop towel. And over time, what ended up happening was basically all the towels became shop towels, even like clothing towels and bath towels. So tonight, I want to make something kind of cool kind of like a birdhouse with the lid. Shop towels and rags will go down in the front and the front will have like an oval in it and you'll pull all the towels out from there and you'll refill from the top and maybe on the front of here carve something that says shop towels. I don't know, something kind of cool like that. So let's get into it. As always, we're gonna check the scrap wood pile and efforts to use that up before we move. Now this is gonna be basically a glorified tissue holder, I guess. But I am gonna carve something in this and I'm gonna paint down into the carve. So I'm gonna take this vinyl and I'm just gonna run it over the top just where the carve's gonna be. Moving over to the X carve, I'm gonna get this bad boy screwed down. I'm just gonna take some one and a quarter screws and screw it down making sure that it's off of the carve zone. That way I don't have a mistake or an accident where it would go through the screw and chip or damage the machine. Then I'll just home the machine and get ready for the carve. I'll have to admit here, I love homing the machine. It's like this little computer robot doing the work. So I'll set up for the Z probe. This will set the depth of the carve and tell the machine how deep and how far the material is away. After I press carve, I'll go ahead and set my GoPro cameras up, slide the enclosure closed, put on the front door, and let's get to carving. If you like fun and creative videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Do it and do it now. Plus, leave me a comment, guys. You know I love hearing them and I always try to comment back. Also, follow me on Instagram or even better, TikTok. I'm having so much fun making TikTok videos. I didn't set the thickness correctly, so the machine actually kind of started binding up. So I had to hit the emergency stop button. So I'm stoked about that, that they have that emergency stop button there. I'll just do my second favorite part is vacuum up all the dust to get it cleaned up. And these pieces are pretty free. I think I just only have to cut one to get it out of there, but that's pretty much it. Now I could make this whole thing on a table saw with a jigsaw, but I did want to put that fancy little carve in there. So that's why I did it on the X carve. Over at the main workbench, I'm just going to pull some paper off of my table, kind of tape off the carve a little bit more just so I don't get spray paint everywhere. I still manage to get spray paint everywhere. It's just baffling how I can't spray paint anything without getting it all over myself. But I'll just spray some red spray paint down into the carve. And then I'm actually going to set it down on the floor in front of a fan to get it to dry quicker. That way I can kind of complete this thing tonight. Now I do want my rags to come out pretty easy, so I'm gonna take my quarter round over bit with my bench top router, and I'm just gonna route out both sides of the hole. That way the rag will kind of slide out a little smoother. At my table saw, I just cut down three more pieces of bottom and two sides, minusing a half inch off of those three pieces so it will sit inside of the box. I'll just take some Type Bond 3 glue, glue it up, use some brad nails, make sure it gets nice and tight. I'm not gonna use any screws on this, the nails will hold it. But my nail gun, again guys, did jam up. I need someone to tell me what nail gun to get that won't jam up. And now that it's nailed together, I'll just take that quarter round over router bit and route the top so that the rags being stuffed down in will have a nicer pathway versus a square edge to go. 
and then I'll just soften up most of the edges. Not the back edge of this because it's going to be flat up against the back. I'll blow off my workbench. And this is one of my favorite parts of the X-Carve is pulling off this vinyl to reveal this super precise carve. Now the paint's a little bit wet, but that's okay. I'm trying to get this done in one night. I'll just take again the Type Bond 3 glue. I'll set the back up. I'll nail from the bottom, square the top, and run some nails all the way around it. I'll do just a little bit of glue cleanup on the inside and outside. And this thing is super freaking rad. Is this thing a glorified tissue holder? Yes, but now I can take all my rags, stuff them down here when they're clean, and then when I need one, I'll just go ahead and grab one, grab another one, grab another one, and I know that when they're in here, they're clean, I'll be able to stuff them back down after we wash them, and I'll always have a freaking rag at the ready. What a cool, fun, easy project. It's just a box. I do like the shop towel thing and my hands are covered in red spray paint. So I definitely know a towel needing kind of a guy. Thank you guys for watching so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you like videos like this, check out my other videos right here. And I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company and we build something. Ta-da! Lurking in the shadows.